The American fashion designer Narciso Rodriguez is born in New Jersey but also has Cuban roots. Working with various fashion designers and great talent, Narciso Rodriguez created a name for himself. And just like many designers, he also has a fragrance line, with the first one coming out in 2003 called For Her, and then in 2007 with a fragrance called For Him. At this point, Narciso Rodriguez has over 50 fragrances to the database. I have some of them in front of me, the ones that I own, including the new one from 2022, Narciso Rodriguez For Him Blue Noir Perfume Edition. If you wanna know more about the newest one from this unique perfume house, stay tuned. The original For Him was launched in 2007 and was created by a perfumer called Francis Kirkjohn. This is a beautiful fragrance that I personally love to wear when it's rainy outside. The notes in this one right here, the original For Him from 2007, are going to be violet, musk, patchouli, and amber. It is truly a beautiful, unique scent, but as I mentioned before, Francis Kirkjohn worked on this one right here, and there are many perfumers that worked on or for the fragrances or on the fragrances for Narciso Rodriguez. Some of the perfumers on this fragrance or on these fragrances are Alberto Morias, you have Sonia Constant, you also have Christina Nagel, Natalie Gracchacetto, uh, just to name a few. That's a pretty nice lineup if you ask me. Great perfumers. So another one that was really amazing or is really amazing that I have in my collection is one that was created by Sonia Constant in 2015. And this one is called Narciso Rodriguez for him, and it is Blue Noir. Also a similar bottle or same bottle. And if you look at this right here, the color of it is just a little bit different, but very beautiful, the great on the shelf. This 2015 fragrance basically deepens the original one just a little bit and adds a woody accord to it. The original scent is of course still there. However, we're going to have some nutmeg, some cardamom. There's also going to be some ebony wood in the Blue Noir. Interestingly enough, I get little hints of a fragrance that reminds me of a fragrance by Cartier called Declaration. And Declaration has Guatemalan cardamom in it. And uh, this one also has cardamom. So that may be it. However, the fragrance note to me is a little bit more like perhaps caraway or something like that, even though that's not listed in this fragrance at all. But there are hints or similarities between this, these two. They don't smell alike, but there's definitely a hint of caraway or maybe it may be the Guatemalan no cardamom. Just wanna let you know that, that there's a little hint close together. But Sonia Constant also came up with a brand new one and this one is from 2022 and it is Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir and it's a perfume edition. Now many of us, I'm sure maybe perhaps you as well, we got heartburn when we found out that Dior Homme was going to be released or reformulated in 2020 with completely different notes. I know it gave me heartburn. So maybe this next one might be a little bit of a Pepto-Bismol for you. Also, right now would be an absolute wonderful time for you to leave a like if you get anything out of this at all. Maybe even subscribe for more fragrance content. I personally would love to have you on board. And I will thank you in advance. So I'm happy to tell you that this one might be just a little bit of a savior for you. If you love the note of Iris, then this new Blue Noir perfume edition might be just a saving grace. Sonia Constant decided to utilize the note of Iris and did utilize a few different notes in this fragrance. Now it does sway away a little bit from the original Blue Noir that we discussed a little while ago. It is, a, it is different. However, the, uh, I guess the backbone is still kind of the original Blue Noir if you like that fragrance. This one does sway away and it leans into directions of what I mentioned earlier into the Dior Um, you know, the original, the lipsticky iris, or the Valentino Intense, you know, with the iris in it. 
obviously. And of course, you know, the Givenchy gentleman, the EDP, also gonna have some iris in it. So this one is going to be in that same sort of neighborhood if you love iris fragrances. But here's what I'll do. I'm going to list right now the two fragrances, or let me see the, the notes of these two fragrances. The original Blue Noir, I'll put over here, and then the new Blue Noir perfume I'll put over here. Now, as you can see with both of these, there is going to be a, a big difference in the notes, completely sort of revamped the entire fragrance. You can obviously tell that Narciso Rodriguez is going or getting onto the iris train. Interestingly enough, the new Blue Noir perfume is a completely different fragrance. Me personally, I would have liked if the original Blue Noir would have been a little bit stronger in the background. To me, it's com uh, almost completely different fragrance. But then again, the longevity has increased just a little bit over the other Narciso Rodrigo fragrances, just a tad, and the Siage is going to be right on par with the other two. Now, obviously, this perfume is going to have qualities, like I said, of the original, or the other ones I showed you earlier, the Dior, the uh, Gentleman Givenchy or the Valentino, you know, Uomo Intense. It's going to have qualities like that because of the iris note. However, there's also some Tonka bean in this new one, which gives this one just a little bit more of a sweeter or a sweet, yeah, in general, a sweeter feel to it because of the Tonka note in the base. Some of you will actually like this, that it's a little bit sweeter, and some of you will not. The same for goes for the, you know, the progression of the fragrance. It is a little bit lighter, a little bit more sort of citrusy when you first spray it, but it kind of deepens into the iris pretty quickly. And then throughout the time you wear it, it's going to be a, a pretty linear, which is mostly all day. It does stay a good six, eight hours, no problem at all. You will get whiffs of it sort of throughout the day, and it's a pretty linear, beautiful scent. Personally, I would wear this brand new one, Blue Noir, just about any time. I would wear it to work, I would wear it on a date, I would wear it casually. It's pretty versatile. Now I do think, I, I would personally wouldn't wear this to the gym, even though it has the citrus opening, which it kind of dies away pretty quickly. I would not wear this to the gym, it's a little bit too thick. But anything other than that, if you love the note of iris, it's really easy, easy to wear. Probably a little bit more when it's cooler outside, because it is a little bit heavier, and I like iris just a little bit better when it's cooler. And of course, like most of the Narciso Rodrigo fragrances, this has sort of a unisex appeal, especially with the iris note in it, which can be a little bit powdery and lipsticky. However, don't worry about it, guys. This is plenty masculine because you're also going to have some leather and musk in this fragrance. So definitely anybody could wear that without being too much on one side or the other, which I think is a really nice thing that anybody could wear any fragrance because, you know, who is to say that this is a female or male fragrance? But this one right here, definitely sorta of in the middle for me. Anybody could wear that 100%. Now, that being said, I did enjoy wearing this fragrance when I wore it. I, however, I do feel like it's a little bit redundant in my collection since I already have the Dior and the Shivanshi and a number of other iris, iris fragrances. Now, these are a little bit harder to find nowadays, especially, you know, the, the Valentino and the Diorum Intense. They're not that easy to find. So if you want to, you know, get an iris fragrance and that's easier to find right now, this one is a definitely great pick because it's easier to find and it's already starting to pop up at discount sellers so you can get even a better price on it. And it is a really nice fragrance. It is super easy to wear, it's easier to find, and it smells great. I'm pretty sure you're going to get compliments with this brand new one from 2022. But tell me, what are your thoughts on iris fragrances? Do you like wearing iris or do you absolutely hate it? Do you have some? Are you going to get this one or do you have the other ones? Let me know what your thoughts are on iris. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to love, like, subscribe, all those wonderful things. I want to thank you in advance. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I will talk to you soon.